Stop it, Callisto. Whoa, what the? This is over, Moon. What are you gonna do? Use you as bait. Hey, Phobos and Deimos, tell the Earth we have the Moon and that we'll be waiting. The moons! The moons are- It's okay. We know they want to attack the Earth. Just take it easy. Mars! Hey, you two. We thought you were dead! <sighs> nah, I can deal with a couple thousand asteroids. Ugh. Who? Who's that? It's Mercury. Oh, you. You're- Don't think much of it, okay? This is bigger than you, Venus. Right. Right. What's going on? Earth! You're way off your orbit! My Earthlings can handle a little cold. Probably. What happened? The moons attacked Venus and Mars! I think they were trying to defend you! And my moon? Titan captured him! They're setting up a trap for you! Can you take me to their hideout? Yes, but- Mercury, take Venus and Mars out of the asteroid belt. I will go and finish this. Earth, wait! Think about this for a moment. Nobody else is getting hurt because of me. Was that really the Earth? Yep, that's the Earth. No, I don't know how we ended up in the asteroid belt, Mr. America. And frankly, you decided to cut ties with us, so I don't know why- Listen, whenever something space-related happens, you and your sketchy little company always know something. Well, not this time. Now, bye! I already told you I- Oh, hi, Mr. Rotsar. Well, I thought you were- Wait, you know what is happening? How in the- You- No way! Hello? Jupiter? Saturn? Your moons have gone crazy! Hello? God, they're supposed to be the biggest planets! Why can't I find them? You see, Triton? You're wasting your time trying to help when you could be... What am I doing? The Earth should be arriving any minute now. Everyone to your positions. On my signal, you launch everything you have on the Earth. Is this what you really want, Titan? Please don't talk. How do you think this is gonna go? You're gonna wipe out all life on Earth and, and, and what? It'll make the planets finally accept us? It's better than nothing. Titan, you are not like this. You're not thinking straight. You're fighting for the right reasons in the wrong way. You know what? I thought you'd understand, Moon. Out of everyone, I thought you'd be the one to see why the Earth must learn his place. The Earth is changing. I doubt it. Look. You've gathered all the moons of the solar system in one place under one cause. That's unprecedented, Titan. Do something good with that, not just more destruction. You do have a point. I agree. Titan, what if instead of attacking the Earth, we... No! We've come this far, Titania. This is not the time to back down. We can... What? Ask them nicely? Yeah, right. You don't know them like I... Now? No. Wait for Titan to give the signal. Okay. Okay. Accept it, Triton. The gas giants are gone. At least you tried. Your conscience is clear. You did your best and your friends will probably die. No! Snap out of it. They are not your friends. You just met Callisto and those moons? You are not one of them. So just what? Wait. Who's that? 
You want to talk? Why should I want to talk with you? So I can hear more insults? I want to apologize, Titan. What? Well, apologize? Yes. The truth is, I wanted to hurt you. I wanted you to give up on trying to be like me because you made me feel less special. I knew it. You're just an insecure little planet too afraid to let anyone get near your level. That's exactly right. I couldn't accept that me, a planet, was feeling threatened by a moon. It was honestly unthinkable. After all, moons are inferior, right? You orbit us, not the other way around. You are smaller, thus you are inferior. It seemed logical. Does he have a death wish or what? Did you just come here to insult us or- But I was wrong! You wanna know why? Because in this universe of huge planets, gigantic black holes, and enormous galaxies, the one thing that has impressed me the most are my Earthlings. They are tiny and feeble, and they can't survive in space or past a century. Honestly, they're constantly burying them on my surface, like every minute. They need me for everything, are trapped by my gravity. But even with all that in mind, they always go beyond all of my expectations. But despite having everything they need to survive on my surface, their longest held dream was to visit their moon, Luna. They were not made to survive in the conditions of the moon, but they went there anyways. Why? Because the moon is freaking cool! And it's cool not because it orbits me. I orbit the sun, the sun orbits the black hole at the center of the galaxy, and the galaxy probably orbits something else that we can't even comprehend! Titan, I started all of this because deep inside, I recognized you were pretty awesome, and I thought I would lose my friends if you reached my level. But my friends fought for me despite my flaws. I don't know if we can ever be friends after all this, but I'd like to try, if you're willing to give me another chance. You told me you wanted a chance to talk. This is it. I'm calling off the attack. Everyone stand down- No! If you want to chicken out at our moment of victory, you're lost, Titan. Now, we are in charge. Army of Moons, open fire! 